Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Phoenix 1987 20 here to bring you Nintendo Switch November releases. And trust me, we got a lot. So if you like my videos, hit that like, share this with all your friends, turn on that uh, subscription, make sure you have that notification so you can follow my videos when I upload them, and leave your comment below. I do read them and I do get back to you guys as soon as I can, and I enjoy reading them. So on November 3rd, we got Bank Bankin Champions of Vestor. We got Hunter Simulation 2. We had Tennis World Tour 2. So far, it's starting pretty good. And again on November 3rd, we got LOS Surprise Remix, We Rule the World. We got Jurassic World Evolution, we got Torrent, and we got My Universe School Teacher. On November 4th, we only got one game coming out, and it's Pick Me Up. Rescue Ranger, and that looks like a really interesting game. You got search and rescue, you got divers, you got fire department. So, if you're ever in trouble, call the Rescue Rangers. On November 5th, we got Cafe Enhanced, we got Battle Hunter, and we got the Pop Pop or however you pronounce that. And they look like very interesting games. And on November 5th, we got Fantasy Tavern Sexton Volume 1. We got 10, and we got Yester Mortar, which is, looks like very interesting games to me. And I can't wait to see what they are when I purchase them on Nintendo Switch. And again, still more games for uh, uh, November 5th. We got Outbreak, The Nightmare Chronicles. We got My Little Dog's Adventure. We got What's the Fork. All indie games, but all look uh, fun and promising, especially if you, have, if you have young kids at home. Or, heck, even if you want to play them at home. These are all fun and interesting games, and they look neat to play with. On November 6th, we got, uh, we got Paw Patrol, The Mighty Pups Save Adventure Bay. We get Descented, which looks like a wicked uh, BMX, uh, BMX downhill game. And we got Tropico 6, which looks like... Uh, it's a navy game where you build a city, build your navy, and probably relive other historical events. And we got more for November 6th. We got Memory, Memor, 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 Conda, Memor Conda. We got Or Dot, Player Ignore, and we got Pokemon Sword and Shield plus the, plus the expansion pack coming out on November 6th. So if you haven't picked up Pokemon game and you want it, this is your best deal because you get the game plus both DLCs at a very reasonable price. It's actually cheaper to get this than buy the game and then buy the, the DLCs separate because you actually will save money on this deal. And we got November 10th, we got Fusure. We got that DJ mixing, you know that fun crowd. We got Del Cell, we got Dead Cells, and we got Sakuna, the Rice of Room. And I'm not going to lie, they all look good. I'm looking forward to this game right here. Because, baby, I like to be mixing that music. I know I'm not a professional DJ, because I wouldn't be doing YouTube videos. I just like like DJ Hero. Remember that? That was a good, fun game. I wish they would have continued on that. On November 10th, we have My Universe, My Universe Cooking Star Restaurant. We got Slide Star. We got Speed 3 Grand Prix. They're all coming out on November 10th. So right now, that's a decent amount of games that we have coming out for November 10th. Or for November itself. On November 12th, we get Just Dance 2021. So you get your boogie on. You know, get that boogie on. We got Family Fruit. And Husband vs. Wife, probably not a great idea. But it will show the dominance with the Family Fruit. And we got Santa's X-Men Adventure. You know, a good game for the, the kitties. And um, something fun for them and get them in the mood because you know what? Christmas is just round the corner. So why not get the kids in the, the good holiday spirits? I know we've all been in the dumps this whole year because of coronavirus. But don't let the kids pay for it. Get, that, get them fun. Get them happy. You know? Get that game. On November 13th, we got Kingdom Hearts, Mellow of Memory. We got Let's Sing 2021. And we need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered, which are all going to be beautiful games across the board. I can't wait to play this game, this game, and this game, 
me and my daughter, we play games like this all the time, and it's fun. It's relaxing. It can be challenging sometimes because, believe it or not, she's a better singer than I am. She can hit those notes. I sound like a D flat all the way across. On November 17th, we have truck driving. We have Mars Horizon. And we got Who Wants to Be the Millionaire? There's 3,000 questions in there. So until you get through the 3,000 questions, you may not have a repeat for a very long time. And you can challenge your, the members of your family and your friends on Who Wants to Be that Millionaire? Video Game Edition. And it'd be very surprised to see how people do on that game. I've caught this game on the Wii, the Wii U, and I'm going to get it for the Nintendo Switch. They're just funny. They get your memory going. Make you think. On uh, November 17th, we got professional uh, Ruby uh, brain fitness. So, you know, get that brain going, get that blood flowing in the head. We got Mortal Kombat 11, the Ultimate Edition, that's supposed to be including all the DLCs. And we got Sniper Elite 4. All really good games and really fun. And I'm pretty sure that this game is going to be close to uh, Brain Age. Just the way it makes you think, makes you work the, your muscle in your head. November 19th, we got Fantasy Friends. And on November 20th, we got High Rule Warrior, The Age of Calamity. And uh, Fantasy Friends, it's good for your kids. You know, you got the you got your little kids that love your little kids that love to do this stuff. Well, you get the mind thinking and build the fantasy with unicorns, with boxes, with bears, with money. So it's fun and it's cute. And every Legend of Zelda fan that's out there is waiting for this game because Hyrule Warriors: Age of Clank tells a story of the Breath of the Wild series, but what happened up to Link's fall. Zelda's fall in the rise of Ganon. It won't be playing like the, re the regular Breath of the Wild game because it is a Hyrule Warrior. It will stick to that uh, template, that format, but it's going to be telling a beautiful story. Nintendo worked personally with the developers on this and make sure they got it right. And now we understand why um, the voice actors for the Breath of the Wild were able to repri uh, re re uh, reprise their voices. Because we all thought it was going to be the Breath of the Wild 2, but it became this game. Nintendo caught us off guard with this game. And I'm kind of glad for it, because I'd love to see how this game folds out. And on November 24th, we got Monster Truck Champions. And on November 26th, we got Brawl Chess. So test your skills as you brawl down and play in the good old chess game. Winner takes all, loser take goes home with a tail between his legs. The Monster Truck uh, Champion, your son, your daughter, your husband, they just like to drive around crazy and crush cars and roll their trucks. Well, this is going to be right up your alley because you know what? I know for me, I love to do that and I wish there were more games out like that for Nintendo Switch, but I'm going to take it as I go. And I got an honorable mention because it's not a Nintendo Switch game, but remember, the Nintendo 31st anniversary of Game & Watch is coming out November 13th. So if you haven't pre-ordered it yet, because it's going to be a limited edition, just like they did for the NES Mini and the Super NES Mini, they're going to run this for a short period of time. So go to your lo local retailer store, pre-order this, and you're going to have fun. Remember, there's 35 points of touch uh, interaction on the game. It's a game with Super Mario Bros. 1 and Super Mario Bros. 2, the Lost Levels. And they got the original Game & Watch game on there, starring Mario this time around. And it's still, it works like a watch as well. It's got clock settings. So, it might be something that you guys want to be. If you're a Nintendo collector, this should be right up your alley. I know I, I, know I am. So, I really hope that this is fun and nice. And I hope that you guys like it all. So remember, if you like my videos, leave, uh, leave, hit that like button. Share this with all your friends. Turn on this, uh, turn on the notification so when you hit that subscribe button, I upload more videos. You're the first one to know about it. And leave a comment below because I love listening to what you guys have to say. So until next time, this is Phoenix 198720 saying good morning, good evening. Good night. Peace, y'all.